People often ask my wife what I do because they find out she is married to a theoretical physicist. She has an answer which I really like. She says, he makes stuff up for a living. Well, that's kind of right, but not com the complete story. We scientists have these ideas, classical mechanics, quantum mechanics, and then we hit a wall. And then on the other side of that wall, you have to create new ideas. And so when we have to make up a new theory, and by the way, why do we make up new theories? Because a new fact has been presented to us that is not in accord with anything that we know beforehand. So we have to have a new theory. And so the question becomes, how do you do that? And the answer is we make it up. We simply make it up whole cloth from our, our imagination. Most of the times when we make up ideas, they're wrong. People think theoretical physics are really bright and they can do all this amazing stuff, but most of what we do is just absolutely wrong. And that's just, that's just the nature of innovation. However, when we get it right, it's amazing. People often ask what string theory. Newton taught us if we want to understand everything, think of the universe is somehow being composed of little elements that behave very much like billiard balls. We have a technical name for them. We call them geometrical point particles. The concept of geometrical point particles got us to the moon. It allowed us to invent lasers. I mean, it's not something to, you know, turn your nose up at. On the other hand, there appear to be things about our reality that we cannot understand if we take the billiard ball analogy as our starting point. One of them is, how does gravity work for tiny things like electrons? If you really want to answer that question, the billiard ball approach seems to fail. And so string theory actually suggests that if you want to understand our reality, then all the ideas that come to us from Isaac Newton must be replaced by a set of ideas that are more closely associated with the mathematics of vibrating filaments. One of the amazing things about string theory is it has given rise to what Einstein dreamed of finding, a unified field theory. If string theory turns out to be an accurate description of the universe, we will have a single piece of mathematics that is capable of describing electrons and atoms, is capable of describing light and the force of gravity and the nuclear forces, a single set of equations. So if string theory is right, it basically says our entire reality is just an amazing symphony.